what are the goats of modern anime from trash taste highlights let's see what they gotta say all right 2018 oh to 2020 this was when i was on my f Ooh, <laughs> the domestic girlfriend okay let me move this this domestic girlfriend i b stars went crazy during that time right god of high school was super hyped up and i think just kind of failed according to a lot of people's opinions about the show Goblin Slayer episode one went crazy, right? JoJo's part five. I think this is still before Netflix started doing batch releases, which really killed season six, I think. Dr. Stone, we know. Golden Conway. Black Clover. Oh, shit. Black Clover is 2018, 2020? I thought it happened even earlier. Bunny Girl Senpai is 2018, 2020? I thought this is all so old. There's Darling in the Franks, right? Promise Neverland. Mob Psycho. Yeah, yeah. Tensura. So the top ones here. Tensura. Keeper Hands of Aizoken. I don't know this one. Uh, Doro Hedoro. I think I've heard this one. And of course, we have Kimetsu no Yaiba. Demon Slayer just fucking coming out of nowhere. And I truly believe, like, this phase, obviously, in the early 2018, 2019, the pandemic hasn't happened yet. But 2020 and beyond, that really just created so much hype for a lot of people because a lot of people are just stuck inside watching anime. Final straw. You're fine. <laughs> this was your 14th reason. This is like this. This era was when I'm like, all right, I think I might start packing yeah, it in. Like now I see bangers. the top left, and I'm like, banger. Domestic oh, girlfriend. Yeah, we, got, we got so many bangers. This I week. mean, there's a lot of bangers yeah. on this list. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I mean, we're literally trying to like smash in like three amazing. Like, JoJo years Part anime. Five banger. B Stars yeah. banger. Devilman Crybaby banger. Mob Psycho banger. What else they? <laughs> I <laughs> skipped got a high school. Old camera was pretty door, good. getting another season off four years later. Yep. Five years later. Fuck me, dude. Yep. See, we're waiting so long for anime seasons now. Yeah. Yeah, we are. That's just because there's so many anime being made right yeah. now. They gotta, they gotta cut like half the anime. They make it. Agreed. Oh yeah. We need like a, we need like Absolutely. an X factor for anime. Yeah. Or like a, a Simon Cowell type judge as well. What's, <laughs> what's allowed to be made? It's the only way we can kill the isekai genre. <laughs> No, I love my shitty stuff, guys, but that is so true. There's so much garbage being pumped out. If only they would focus on quality rather than quantity. But again, it's just capitalism at the end of the day. Just the bottom. Race to the fucking bottom. Just trying to maximize on as many shitty enemies that you can make. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love. You've already made 15 easy cards. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 2018 and 2019 were both oh. goaded years for anime with shit like Bob Psycho coming out. Sure. Yep. Uh, and Goblin Bob. Slayer, right? Goblin Slayer. Oh. <laughs> I hear Goblin Slayer was pretty decent. It's just a lot of people had mixed receptions due to episode one being so traumatizing i guess i, look, I came out I this year so uh, fondly back at megalobox it yeah megalobox, megalobox was so good was good uh god, i believe vinland so saga came out in 2019 as well oh Battle my god Ever See, this, this is where this is where my like memory Top comes back is. because from 2013 onwards i started doing the yearly anime recaps yeah so that's why that's why i can yeah, remember is, every big anime this coming is like out. honestly we did, we'd get to that point where like there's so many good shows per season uh per yeah, year that we definitely probably look at it every yeah. year but i mean like you can never see the style shift. Yeah. 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 Like, do you think every generation of boys from Yudo Gasai onwards is just going to have a fucking pink haired girl ruin their fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ruin them? Yeah. Maybe. Holy shit. Darling in the Franks should not have been as big oh as it my was. Oh, God. Why did Zero Two just go so viral? If I look at clips, it's because she seems to be just super confident and. You can self-insert your loser ass into a dominant girlfriend that will just call you darling and feed you. It's more than hot. There's a lot of hot characters, right? Like, Bunny Girl is hot, right? Like, Kimetsu... <laughs> uh, Intense Zero, like, Shion is hot, but you don't see Shion being, like, fucking heralded as Zero Two. There was, like, a cultural shift. There was also the Zero Two dance. She was... For whatever reason, she was just there at the right time, and her character, like surpassed it like transcended anime it got made into other popular media as well it truly did transcend but it was it was not big for darling the franks it was big for zero two man yeah, yeah isn't that crazy how popular that show was <laughs> like you know how data live is less known and more people know about kurumi than data live it's the same shit with zero two and how mid it was yeah <laughs> yeah it was like you would you could not go to convention where someone was not cosplaying zero two yeah i mean yeah <laughs> And then they, and then we got to do the second half of the show, and everyone went like, "Ah, oh, it's like, ah, oh, we oh. went to space." Oh. <laughs> hey. What happened? Did it fall off that hard? Did they bait you with zero two in the beginning? 
but the story was also just dookie by the end. Aliens. It's, aliens. Yeah. Aliens. Just the whole story was like, no. Trigger really? was like, we'll take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! At least Jojo Part Five was fucking sick. Jojo yeah, Jojo. Sick. This is like Jojo at this peak as yeah, well. Yeah, this was in peak terms too. of like popularity before. Yeah, the whole the Jojo theme on the piano, that shit went so viral. The piano Jojo theme, bro, that shit went crazy. Yeah. Netflix took over. I'm hoping. I hope uh, Part Seven will vibe. Yeah, this this era is defined by Jojo memes and Demon Slayer mm. episode eighteen or seven. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one where Nezuko really popped off with her blood arts, I think. That's like the moment where people were like, yo, Demon Slayer is like truly, truly next level. I think it was that episode. Maybe it wasn't. But I remember there's a specific Nezuko moment in season one that people were super, super hyped about. Yeah. Have you and seen Darling now? in the Franks episode 14. <laughs> oh I remember the controversy God. on yeah, that episode. Yeah, yeah. What was the controversy of that episode? It was the, the blue haired, uh, the short haired blue haired chick. I don't really mind Darling the Frank spoilers right now. It's mostly out of context and who knows if we're ever going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, like, oh. uh, what was it? Like, Confess to Love or something? That's like the least. Because this was, that, that's it like was, the tamest domestic girlfriend episode. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was like, it was like the year after the whole, like, I love Amelia meme. That, yeah. that was just. Uh, that's some ReZero shit that everyone just stole fucking posting. Over uh, the internet for a while. And yeah. then it's just like, another blue haired girl gets <laughs> cucked. How many? Yeah. They can't keep doing this. It's true. It's true. They do be cooking the blue head. Yeah. Yeah. And, blue and, head and Toradora. They kicked the blue head. Yeah. She got cocked too. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Justice for blue. Main theme of this so far. Don't be a blue haired girl. Basically, if you are a blue haired girl you get in fucked. a love triangle, fucking you are Mom's good, like good luck. GG. <laughs> Dude, Devil Man Crybaby was so good. So good. It was, it was fucking so high. Insane. Oh what a God. fucking awesome ending. I don't get people who are like, I hated it. It was amazing. It's like, how do you hate it? Do you think it would- That's right, Anna from Too Many Losing Heroines as well. Get fucked. Would have been bigger if it wasn't the Netflix release and it was airing week by week. Because I feel like with Devilman Crybaby, it got so much hype. And then- I think so, Everyone, honestly, yeah. Everyone stopped talking about it so fast. I, I am fond now of the, the new trend of releasing, which is release three episodes right away. Which the I hate that shit so fucking much. For the consumers, it's good, but for me, it's just like more. It's just like I, now I gotta fucking watch. And it, like Isekai Suicide Squad did that shit, and I was like, "Fuck, are people even gonna watch all of it? I gotta do one by one. Do I have to edit it all?" Now it's just like fucking one huge video, and I gotta pay Sir Gregor instead of having three. It's just fucking annoying. But you know, that is separate though, right? That's just like pains that content creators have due to YouTube bullshit. But for the consumers. It is very nice to have fat episodes. I did really enjoy Demon Slayer finale having, you know, the fat ending finale episode. That was hype. The, boys the arcade did. method. I like it. I think it's a genius way of getting everyone fucking pumped True. and then yeah. being like, hold chill for, it, yeah. for two more months. Yeah. yeah. It's Hon honestly, good, yeah. I like it as well. Because who wants to watch one episode of something? I don't yeah. want to watch something the first week. That's, that's why I. They should have done that with solo leveling. At least like first two episodes, you know, back to back and then just like get people hyped up rather than. Showing them like a mid hook, which then gets consolidated on the next episode. I always I fuck like, with the three. The yeah, th the, the, the three is like a good number. The three it's such a good, a good idea. Yeah, yeah because it, I personally it sucked in. I personally always waited to marathon at least like three, four yeah, episodes yeah, me too, anyway. Me too. Because one episode is just way too short. Yeah, like Jujutsu Kaisen season two, I went like. It wouldn't be short if you didn't fucking watch it in 2x speed, Gigguk. Like four episodes, five episodes. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm ready now. Yeah. Now, now I can stick my teeth in and get pumped every week. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like it's the perfect middle ground to like the Netflix binge culture, yeah, which yeah. just makes everything so forgettable. Uh yes. I think that binging anime is probably one of the worst way to get the most out of the anime. When you watch an anime, think of it like this. How much can you actually get out of it? 100% being the most by being so attentive to detail and being engaged and immersed to the story. Or you can passively watch it while on your phone fucking around and just kind of absorb some stuff and maybe you're not going to get as much out of it, right? And I think binging anime is like the worst way to experience anime in terms of getting everything out of it. If you just treat it as a productivity job, if it's just homework, you just want to get over with the show, sure, go ahead and do it. But truly sitting down and just getting everything out of it pace by pace and having something to look forward to next week is such a nice thing to have and by the time that you're binging and you're in episode three or four you're already so tired and burnt out you're not even you're not even understanding what's going on you're you're just straight up just wasting the fucking anime thinking that you're getting everything you want right now straight up that's not the way to do it
and the weekly market. culture, which yeah, I love it, doesn't is not enough for me. Yeah. I don't know how manga readers do it, man. I don't know how they do it. That's that's like five minutes of content. They'll be like, this, they'll be like, this manga, is, this this new manga is so fucking goaded. It's gonna be so good, and it's got literally like, <laughs> and then you it's got long... literally like ten seconds of plot, <laughs> and, then you, yeah. and then you live long enough to become a hunter hunter fan. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty bad feeling when you get super into a new show and then or a new manga series, right? And there's only like twenty chapters, and you're like, fuck. What? This is this is so trash. What the fuck? Yeah. What was <laughs> or it's like? He'll be back. What was that? It's like six years. What was that one panel that one? Like the rush with dangers in my heart. I don't think I rushed dangers in my heart. I think that we watched one to two episodes each day, giving full forty minute reactions per episode, completely talking about it. That's not the same as someone sitting down just fucking speed running an anime and finishing it in like seven hours. That's just fucking stupid. Your brain can't comprehend. You're not even in shape to fucking fully understand, but most people don't care. Most people don't care about getting everything out of the show. They just want, simply want to be got done with it because they treat it like it's a fucking job. New edgy manga that aired like a year ago and literally the first- Kaminobachi. Yeah, and like literally, it was all people spoke- I heard, that, isn't this the most memeable fucking manga? Of this dude being like the ultimate hater? And it was so bad that it became good and people like meme about it. I got the first chapter and it- I never heard a word about it. Well, it, like, it's because well, it became a meme. Like, yeah. so much so that the, the creator of it was, like, legitimately thought that. He was like, wow, I've only released two chapters, but the yeah. online audience loves it for yeah. some reason. Yeah, right? To be fair, I read a little bit of it. It's pretty good. Yeah, but there's not, not a lot to... At the time when people were talking about it so much, there was nothing. Oh, yeah, no. I don't know how that meme started, but it was funny. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw on Twitter of a... a picture of a frame where he's like yeah every day i wake up with so much hate that's the only way i live well a good so, era yeah this was good like, era. yeah promised neverland when that was everything and then wow how how, how and the then it turned. was nothing <laughs> and then there was nothing. that was like an anime ending only failure project right the then, tables turned yeah man. how the tables have turned man demon slayer god i hate you 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 hate to see yeah, I hate to, I hate to admit how big of a impact. show it is. Big of an impact. Oh my god! Yeah. I thought it was impressive that they managed to finally capitalize on success. And they were like, finally, let's pump out another season. Yeah, was it this era or was it the era before? When did your name come out? Because the movie twenty right. did it come out twenty sixteen. No, 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 definitely no, not. No, because I, remember, I was in, I was living in Thailand. Yeah, people were watching that in movie theaters. When I, when I went to Japan, you were talking about it. So twenty seventeen yeah. like or something. Yeah, 2016, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause I. Oh, yeah. Cause. So 2016, 2017. So just before this era is when they started figuring out how to do anime movies. And I don't mean yeah. doing anime movies, you know, doing good anime movies, but like what so releasing different? it internationally to yeah. be yeah. a financial. Your name was such such a culture like a shift not a shift but it was a huge huge movie during that time i remember everyone fucking talking about how peak how amazing that movie is on the youtube side too bro like goddamn, the your name reactions go crazy success because your name was such a revolutionary thing for anime films mm. in theaters and then demon slayer mugen train was just just blew that out of the water that's, crazy. that's so sad <laughs> you have Makoto Shinkai creating just a work of art, pouring his heart and soul into a story to just give so much depth into I don't even know what themes they're talking about, right? I've never seen the movie. But I know for a fact that there is no way that movie, like compared to like, you know, Mugen Train, listen, Unga Bunga, it's because it's again, if we're talking pure numbers of like who buys tickets and, you know, buys the DVDs and goes to this show, right? What, what do you think is going to be more popular? A show like Your Name or like something so easily accessible and can captivate a huge audience, which are kids at the end of the day, right? The Demon Slayer. It just makes sense that Unga Boonga Slayer is going to be bigger. And now it seems like the new meta is if you have something big going on, make it a movie. Yep. You know, I was very, yeah. very surprised. Make it a movie and double dip and make it into a fucking anime episode season two. Guys, when they didn't make the end of Attack on Titan yeah. a movie, yeah. because I think that would have worked even better for it if they were yeah. going to do that kind of release. Sure. Eminence and Shadow movie also coming, which I'm pretty hyped for. But with these kind of movie releases, the annoying thing is like, is it going to be like on streaming services immediately, or are we going to get locked out like a lot of Japanese you know animation movies are? They drop Kaguya-sama, but we can't fucking watch it for a long time. And then it shows up to Netflix or uh, Crunchyroll, and it's like, God damn, it's been like three months. Uh, should we go to the uh, next slide? 
next year. Next slide. Next slide. What I'm also learning from looking at this is that there are a lot of shows that have. Ooh, and this is the time that I started to do anime reactions now, right? This is now when I'm like finally like working and realizing I want to do YouTube reactions and start to get on board. Horimiya, I haven't checked out. I hear it's peak rom com. 86, one of the first reactions I did on my old channel. Odd Taxi, don't remember that. To Your Tourney, I remember these copyright strikes of other people getting that. Kaguya Sama, we reacted to that. Old Sama ranking, fucking peak. Blue Lock, Yaoi Lock, we got that shit. Villain Slugger was one of the worst performing series in my channel, so we have to draw. Chainsaw Man, right? Tokyo Revengers. Spikes Family, Mob Psycho Season 3. Rent a Girlfriend, bro. JJK, yep. This is basically when I start to get on the YouTube game of reactions. Very popular at the time that just haven't really. Yo, Bochi the Rock is here. My dress is drawing. Yeah, Star Punk. Where the fuck is, uh, what's it called? Licorice Recoil. Licorice Recoil was also pretty, like, popular for an, like, a uh, original work. So stood the test. No, this, yeah. is, this yeah. is when we get to the point where, like, the, the hype for it while it's airing gets big, but then the moment it's finished, it's like, no one's talking about yeah, it. Like, yeah. uh, My Dress Up Darling, for instance. Oh Who the fuck's- God. I think My Dress Up Darling is still going hard, isn't it? I think there's actually, I was surprised to see how much like manga reaction review content there is for My Dress Up Darling. It's actually kind of crazy the numbers I see. Talking about that show anymore. Well, that's because it doesn't have a season two. No, it's because the manga got mid. That's why. <laughs> yeah, but is also, it? Yeah, the manga to get mid gone. I heard that. Is, is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what didn't get mid. What? Friends and girlfriends. <laughs> Rent a girlfriend, bro. Three fucking seasons of content that we can fucking just have peak reactions on, but you guys are too much pussies to handle it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because it went worse than this. <laughs> How can it get worse? <laughs> Dude, Cyberpunk, holy shit. Oh. This was like a huge series that I think a lot of, you know, normies could also watch because it didn't really feel like an anime, right? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. what a good Hell fucking yes. show. <laughs> Tokyo Revengers, my god. I never understood the hype. No, me neither. I'm I like... I don't get it either. Takemichi, everyone fucking hates the main character. And my, my honest fucking hates that shit. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed Windbreaker, but Tokyo Revengers is like, people I wonder why it's so popular. I, no, no shot these kids are 14. Yeah, I, I, you I, cannot I, convince me. I've never- That's pretty much every anime to me. <laughs> no shot these kids are 14 can be applied to pretty much any anime that I want, where one motherfucker definitely looks like a 30 year old man with kids. I've had a more frustrating anime watching experience <laughs> than watching that show. I, I, I think oh, I think I just don't I just I don't like delinquent anime. No. Mm, and I thought that too. Until I checked out Windbreaker and then I realized that, huh, this ain't bad. Why? I actually did care about like the character developments and like the backstories that they had and the stories that they're telling. The fights were hype and cool. But that's just simply just, I'm not really watching for the hype, right? I thought I was watching it for the fights, but actually it was completely different with Windbreaker. But yeah, I, I actually did enjoy season one of the delinquents, you know, anime Windbreaker. Oh, I think. no, I don't either. Because Japan just, ju doesn't do delinquents well. <laughs> they, they just really? do it in a really yeah. corny way where it just becomes unbelievable. Yeah, because yeah. I've been watching this season, I was watching like Windbreaker. Yeah. Which has way... This motherfucker... And I'm fine with him rating Windbreaker at like B tier. That's, I don't care about the rating. I, I just care about the logic. And he literally said, Windbreaker is just a show that you watch for the fights and there's no fucking like story or characters or like backstories. Like, I'm watching it for the backstories. Giga, give me the fucking summary right now. Way better animation than Tokyo Revengers. Yeah. And way better action. But it's, it's still very much just a delinquent anime. And I, I have like a hard time- It is a delinquent anime, yes. Buying the fact that these boys are fighting life or death, having like gang yeah. fights over- yeah. yeah, that is kind of silly. Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, I mean, every other anime is a bunch of high school kids fighting to life or death to save the world. But the setting isn't really delinquent. It's more like- crazy fictional shit so i guess it doesn't apply to those animes and in a delinquent anime where you are in like an actual high school middle school setting and everyone is a normal human being with super fucking physical powers for sure i can understand that uh, in 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 high school you know i'm like your balls are barely dropped what are you gonna get to fist fights <laughs> i feel like because they're like rping like yeah delinquents they're like yeah it's like a japanese person is imagining what a delinquent must be like hmm no no i think they got some good points here I think they actually have some good points regarding like how ridiculous the whole premise of, you know, delinquent enemies are with a bunch of like 14, 15 year old kids 
you know, fight into the fucking death. Yeah. Well, no, that's, like, yeah. It's like, and it's also it's like, like, you just don't have them. <laughs> and also like a show like Tokyo Revengers was clearly aimed towards kids who are probably of or around the same age as these characters. But it was so, so popular they... with women in Japan. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so Yeah, because because they were Japan. like, he's kind of a badass and I kind of find that to be attractive. Yeah. Because like, no, Mickey? no. Huh? Mikey? Mikey, God, yeah. Mikey is probably like the single worst character I've ever- Really? People hate this guy more than Takemichi? I don't know. I've I've ex experienced in the past five years. Yeah, of but he also gets the most bitches in real life. But why? <laughs> I don't get it. Japanese women love Mikey. But Mikey is like literally a, like a, a shitty ass character. I yeah, and women like shitty people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have no clue what Mikey's about. Why is he getting so much heat right now? I hate to like Mikey slander, but I just don't like Mikey. I'm, I'm, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not the defender actually, of you Mikey. Know, I, I think actually, you know what? No, they all suck. No, they all suck. The main character also sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to watch. Um, is there not a single redeeming character in Tokyo Revenge? Why do people watch this garbage then? Why is it so popular? I don't get it. It has to be entertaining, right? Mikey is the only good thing in Tokyo Revenger? No, I don't trust you, Coolio. Especially not from you. You always pick the fucking most hateable characters and root for them to try to piss people off. I don't trust you anything. Mikey is the cause of all conflicts in Tokyo Revengers? Yeah, I could believe that. Yeah, okay, this is gonna sound weird looking back now. When did Jujutsu Kaisen get popular? I don't think JJK was popular on release, but I remember the ending being super, super trendy. I remember the season one ending being really hyped up. And then... Uh, I don't know. Gojo versus Jogoat? I don't think it immediately busted out of the gates as being hype. Did it? I think it was right from the get-go. Yeah, right from the get-go. Was it? It was really popular right uh, away. Really? I, I think feel... it's Gojo just Fox. <laughs> I might have... I, I, I think it was the domain expansion of Gojo vs. Jogoat, right? I don't think Gojo vs. Skuna was... Because, like, again, in the early game, it's really hard to, like, get a completely new audience to understand what is actually happening on the screen. Because, like, who is Gojo and Skuna, right? These are the strongest beings in this fucking verse. But we as the audience have no fucking clue what's going on, and we're simply seeing endgame characters fight in, like, episode one or two. But it's just like, well, you haven't really built up the world, so I can't even appreciate that shit. But by the time Gojo vs. Jogo happens, I, I think a lot of people do realize what kind of character Gojo really is. And it's just like, holy shit, this guy's fucking sick. That would have been the first Gojo <laughs> fight scene, actually. Like, yeah, the, yeah, the very first scene where he's like, hey, can you let him, can you let him have the controller for a second? <laughs> it was kind of hot. It was kind of cool. And the whole setting and when he goes to like the... The like, uh, oh the no, sorceress. it's it's the scene where Gojo reveals his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I've been so high. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's just like a hot character, super OP, you know, fucking always covering his eyes. It's like, oh my god, he removed his eye pad. Oh my god, peak Gojo, right? Yeah, I think that's really when it started to really get going. And then by the time that we got into the Kyoto tournament arc stuff, I think people already just fully set on, like, JJK being one of the best modern battle shonen animes. And I think back then was when I was hating on Demon Slayer. I said that JJK is probably better. I don't know. Now that I think about it, a lot of the, a lot of the prejudice I had from Demon Slayer was simply not just giving it a fair chance and just watching it. There was just too much expectations built up in the hype from the audience. And when I watched it, I realized that the plot is fucking non-existent. I I, was, I had the wrong expectations. I'm not. I shouldn't be watching Demon Slayer for the fucking plot. I'm, it's the same thing with JJK. The plot simply exists. It's very mid plot. It's not. It's not bad, but it's just existing. Just an excuse for hype fights to happen and. If I think about it, the hype derived from Demon Slayer now that I feel versus JJK, Demon Slayer might make me more hyped, to be honest. I don't know. JJK is stupid hype, but it's like, bro, that fucking... It's just crazy how Hashira training arc was just so mid and just filler content that was uninspiring. And then the finale just like, just completely redeemed that. That single one episode was like, yep, all right. Yep, Kimetsu no Yaiba forever. It's crazy. Yeah, because I remember before that, I remember a lot of people were just like, oh, did you just guys think it's going to be the next, next big shonen, next big shonen? And, and then you watch a few episodes and you're like, oh, this kind of is like Bleach, I guess. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. A lot of inspiration from Bleach, I think. Yep. Um, but then they have Gojo and... Gojo Fox. That was the one mistake Bleach had. They didn't they have a hot Gojo. character <laughs> with Gojo? eyes like that. If they had a character like Gojo, <laughs> yeah. they tried with Kenpachi, but it just wasn't the same. <laughs> Kenpachi definitely does not sell to women.
<laughs> Kenpachi was not designed at all. Like, what kind of girl would like Kenpachi? I'm sorry. There are probably some people that do, but let's get real, right? You need, like, a handsome Ikemen, like, Gojo Satoru type, right? Byakuya is close. True. Byakuya is close, but not really the same character as Gojo, right? There's a lot of hot characters in Bleach, for sure. <laughs> Something about Gojo just fucks hard. Yeah. <laughs> you really like saying Gojo fucks. See dog, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bochi the rock. <laughs> Bochi the uh, rock. Yeah, we don't. We, don't we, we allow that. We uh, allow that. I want to say there are a lot of mid shows. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think I stalked, bro? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, there's a lot of good ones here, but there are a lot. Of Yo, shitting on Bochi. Yo, where's Licorice Recall at, man? I think Licorice Recall deserves a spot here. I don't know, but definitely like ranking of kings, bro. Osama ranking. This shit is. Golden. What if you want a good story? If you want a good goddamn anime, bro, watch Ranking of Kings season one. A lot of ones that you did. Hey man, like fucking, you know, Kaguya Sama. 86? No one liked 86. <laughs> <laughs> what? The amount of people that glaze 86, that's like dude, it, it's actually unreal. The amount of people that like hypes up 86. I, I've seen it. I've fucking seen it, but it's like it is on another level. Like people think that this shit's like their fucking Bible because the story just resonates with them so much. You did hey man, like fucking, you know, Kaguya Sama. 86? No one liked 86. <laughs> Yo, Connor fucking based. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me saying that because it's annoying how many fucking monkeys still beg me to watch 86 even though every time I tell them, I've seen it. God damn it, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Horror Mia? 86 is underrated? That's a crazy thing to say. The amount, I would say if anything, 86 is overrated simply be by the sheer amount of people just talking about 86 like it's a fucking Bible. I think it's a good anime. It was a great watch. It had good writing. The whole character development of Shin is beautiful. I get it, but like, bro, the way that people talk about 86 is on another fucking level of like a dimension of existence. I mean, yeah, Horimiya was garbage. <laughs> I mean, I love Taxi. Was, <laughs> was Horimiya garbage, was it? Great at the time, but I, I don't think anyone talks about Taxi anymore. That's because it did everything it needed to do. It, was, yeah. it tied everything up and... <laughs> it are didn't we, clarify, we, it just left. Yeah. You know, anime is like fast fashion now. We just can't appreciate what we had. It is. It, it is, is fast fashion. It is. Yeah, like, like, no one talks about... Like even like something like Cyberpunk, it was anime of the year. Everyone loved it. No yeah. one talks about it. That's anymore. why that's why I'm afraid. We're busy looking forward. Doesn't mean that people forgot and just completely abandoned it. They're just completely new shit coming out and we're trying to focus on that. Afraid the same thing is gonna happen to like shows like Free Run, for instance, where it's right, like right. I feel like the, the more Freedom overrated, yep. Freedom gonna get fucking dropped, baby. FMA Brotherhood's coming for that my anime list number one spot. Yeah, the moment it's yeah. done, I feel it's just gonna fall off like all of these other shows. Are like, let's talk about solo leveling, right? Solo leveling also. I, I, again, again, everything just gets super hyped up and glazed. And then people don't talk about it because it's old content. Why are people going to keep talking about old content when there's new content showing up? And at the end of the day, it's just chasing the numbers, right? Doesn't mean that the shows are bad. It's just that there's different priorities for, I guess, people that make videos on content or people that watch it. Like, it doesn't mean that they're forgettable and bad. It's just that... New shit just keeps coming up. It's hard to keep up with that shit and also reflect back on the old stuff. Because like, except, you know, for actual goaded shows like Villain Saga, for instance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of these shows, like when they were airing, it was like all the community was talking about. And now yeah, like Blue Lock most well. of these, oh no God. one really talks about it anymore. Like Blue Lock was everywhere. Yeah. And now Blue Lock is nowhere. Like, am I crazy? Or is it just, is this just the most logical thing to happen as with new passing season, the people that wants to talk about anime are also chasing the analytics and they're simply talking about new trending shit. Like, like what, are we just gonna say Mushoku Tensei is just also forgotten? No, when Mushoku Tensei comes back, we're gonna talk about that shit more. I, I truly don't think that this is like a huge fucking problem that's specific to this fucking era. I mean, in Japan, it's still everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's because it's more of, I feel like it's propaganda in Japan. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that, it that, is. Like, you will play football. Yeah. You will like football. <laughs> no, no. Boomer stuck in the past? That's right. These goddamn boomers fucking talking about the glory days as if, you know, people always fucking talked about the old fucking animes like Code Geass and blah, blah, blah back in the day and they never forgot about them and the new gen is just too brain rot with their TikToks. That's right. Them kids, they, they're too busy with their subway surfers. They can't even think about, you know, past season anime. It's like, no, no I, don't, I don't think that's the case at all. I think this example is extremely exaggerated 
because the people that they're probably thinking of that talks about anime are also chasing the fucking YouTube analytics and numbers and Twitter engagements and what's gonna do better? New trending shit or old shit that people don't talk about? Well, why don't they talk about it? Because it's just this chasing after new trend. That, that's just it, right? I was more like, <laughs> ladies, you will fall in love with these characters. I, I feel like it was football propaganda. No, no, That's why no. it didn't work in the UK. It, it, we already it, had it. It, it, was, really it, had was, it. it was the opposite way around. You where, think so? Where, okay, where I feel like Blue Lock got such a huge push because of how well Japan, Japan did, performed yeah, in the, in the, in the yeah. World Cup, right? They, yeah, that was like the airing at the same time. There were so many Blue Lock references when Japan was popping off in the World Cup. They had some historic wins. Yeah. And I don't think it's any coincidence that, that Blue Lock was goal. the top selling manga of that year. Smart I, marketing. If Japan just fucking just like laid down and died, ain't no way Blue Lock would have been as popular, <laughs> man. Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> Probably. Me, uh, mm, probably more significant in the Japanese audience than the uh, English speaking audience. You know. <laughs> so I'm saying it's propaganda, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it, it was just like, it was just two things coinciding with each other. Just That just happened to be the stars aligning yeah. where a was, manga was, about- it was, trying to, it was trying to propagandize that you should be a more selfish player if you play football <laughs> look, in Japan. Look, look, look. I genuinely love that though. I love how Blue Lock is all about like your inner narcissistic ego that needs to be polished and come out. Fuck the power of friendship. Fuck teamwork. Nah, nah, nah. All about you, individualism. That's very rare in the sports animes where honestly the villain usually has that philosophy that gets defeated by the power of teamwork. The whole concept of Blue Lock yeah. is just like Japan <laughs> sucks at football. Let's yeah. build an academy yep. to get Japan to do well in the World Cup. I'm we need to build a bunch of fucking sociopaths that only thinks for themselves, and that's how we're gonna be at the best strikers. What happens? Japan I, fucking pops off in the World Cup. You, Who could have asked for better marketing, did, man? Did you see that tweet that was like, "Nah, man, can't watch Portugal play." I'm sorry, bro. I've been holding in a piss for the last 30 minutes. Be right back. Holy shit. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Play. It, it feels like Ronaldo is the homelander of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a good. Team. It felt like the entire team is afraid of Ronaldo. <laughs> God, no, no, let him kick. Let him kick the ball. Let him. Let him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. It's so, so true. Right? I missed the joke because I went to the bathroom. I'm just laughing along. I guess they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was so many tweets that were like, nah, why is the team afraid to talk to Ronaldo? <laughs> Giga this laugh is very funny. Oh my oh, god. Man. That is literally just the plot of Blue Lock. Yeah. Like, yeah. You should be Ronaldo. Yeah. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. And yeah, I mean, like. People still like a lot of the reason people still talk about many of these IPs is basically if there is a weekly manga running. Yeah. 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 You know, people mm. still talk about Chainsaw Good Man, call. but that's mostly I, because I, of the I'd manga. I'd like to think that even if Chainsaw Man or Vinland Saga still stop, we'd still be talking about them. I feel like they've they've earned their their longevity. I feel like Vinland Saga has, but Vinland Saga transcends I, anime. I even think Chainsaw opinion. Man has. Even if Chainsaw Man stopped tomorrow i feel like we'd still be talking about Chainsaw i don't know yet because i've not read out what happens later in the chain uh, i think Man even manga. just of the anime of the anime yeah i, I think it's i don't it's think done the anime well made that big of an did it yeah did the anime actually do that i i, I thought that Ch chainsaw Man was a little bit of a letdown and a disappointment impact though i, I feel like it's, it'll be what i can make a kill was <laughs> <laughs> no way we'll look back no and be like yo that's no no no, no, no like way. as in like 
what I can make a kill was to 13 year old boys is what yeah. Chainsaw Man is now. Uh, I think Chainsaw Man is way more. Really? Is that accurate to compare the two? But like, the, I, I, I think the reason why not many people still talk about the anime right now is because oh. the anime really didn't have enough episodes. To no, no. Yeah, the first season, it, 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 it was entertaining, but I think the real uh, big hitting shit happened in the second season and beyond. It needs a bit more time. Like, it should have been two cores, man. The 12 episodes was not enough to hook the audience into, you know, uh, the whole Chainsaw Man fucking fandom and culture. I, I think a lot of people don't really know what it's still all about based on the first season. Kind of came and went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had 12 or... Make an impact. 12. 12. Like 12 or 13. Yeah, if they had 25, would have done it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they should exactly. Have, uh, the, they should have made more, but I guess they didn't have as much. And also... They decided to animate every opening and ending. Yeah, no, yeah. And, they and went, they went a bit crazy. too ambitious on that. That was, that was crazy. Roche did it right now is also doing like a new ending every time. But yeah, I think a lot of people like I don't know the new openings and endings. That's like a nice little cherry on top. But like, just focus on the main dish first before you focus on the you know other dessert shit. But I think that I think that's like a lot of resentment in Japan because of the way there was drama with the producers. I think some of the directors, you know, kind of like pandering towards the gaijins North American through more Hollywood cinematic style and trying to carry a theme in Chainsaw Man that the Japanese did not were not too much of a fan with. I think that was what's going on. A bit, a bit much. It was yeah. a bit much. It was cool, cool, cool. Yeah. cool but, but I would have liked to have been able to stew on something. Yeah, yeah. Bit, <laughs> a little unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, and we had the ending of Attack on Titan in this yeah. era as well. And yeah. I think, like, to, to me, Attack on Titan season four, at least, or final oh season, God. whatever part, that I, I, feel, I feel like that felt like the first time anime was, like, uh, hmm. that was kind of like an event in anime. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, like yeah. like the final season of Breaking Bad. If, oh, yeah. That was, like, the first time where if you were an anime Everybody fan, was tuning you in. needed to have watched this just to keep... I still haven't seen it. ...up with the conversation, yeah. you know? Yeah, agreed. Um, well, that's pretty much it, man. I don't know. The most, uh, I feel like, um, anyways, here, here's the actual video. Please go check out their channel. But 2020 is pretty much the beginning of my old channel. There's a lot of different enemies we checked out, but I only have a reference point of like, you know, the 2020 enemies and beyond versus what's going on in the past where I used to only watch Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. But honestly, if, of all the enemies cool. here, yeah, of we all the, the enemies here, if I could recommend just one anime, It'd probably be Osama Ranking. I know JJK is fun and stuff, but like Osama Ranking, you want an actual fucking story that may even like change your life? Like, check that one out.